Hey everyone, this is Ava and welcome to my channel. If you are new, I discuss everything you have to know about skincare, makeup, wellness, and lifestyle. So if that sounds like your thing and you want to join the Glow Gang, then make sure you're subscribed to my channel and let's begin with today's video. So as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be discussing all the new skincare launches that I was able to try in Q1 2020 and share with you my experience and honest opinion on them. And I'm going to make this a quarterly thing at the end of every quarter, I'm going to try and do a quick video on all the new launches that I was able to try and just give a little roundup and that keeps me organized as well. All right, now let's begin with today's review. First off, the Summer Fridays Gel Cleanser that retails for $38. And I was honestly pleasantly surprised by this cleanser. It's a very gentle gel cleanser that you actually need a lot to get your makeup off, but I didn't react to it at all. And I do have to say that this is at a hefty price of $38. And while it can be used as a daily cleanser, I personally don't think it's worth $38, just like how I don't think the Fresh Beauty Soy Cleanser isn't really worth their price tag. But overall, Overall, I think this is a very beautiful cleanser, but if it was slightly at a lower price point, then I would definitely recommend it to a lot more people. The Holy Frog Scrubby Wash for $40. I mean, I love Holy Frog Cleanser so much and it's the best for those with sensitive skin and I think their prices are actually worth it and how it can actually change the texture of my skin. It goes beyond the functionality of a cleanser and that's why I love them so much. And their newest launch is a gentle exfoliating cleanser and you know what? I typically stay away from cleansers like this, especially when it has those scrubs in it, but I wanted to see what kind of miracle they did again. This is a gel to oil formula, and I've never seen a texture like this, but this is made with poppy seeds and bamboo stem powder to leave a super smooth, dewy finish. It's also got vitamin C and other antioxidants to really nourish the skin as well. I mean, honestly, overall, this was such a win for me. Pharmacy Be Clean. And let's be honest, I have an obsession over anything, honey. The smell, the texture, the stickiness, I just love it all. And I personally am a fan of the Honey line from Pharmacy, and now they came out with a body cleanser. The fact that my body can smell like honey was big enough of a win for me. And this has the same smell as Clean Bee the cleanser with none of that sticky feeling. It foams up really nice and my god, I truly feel like I walked out of the spa after using this. Will I ever use another body cleanser? Unclear. Burst Baby Cheeks and the Brightening Solution. These two launched together and I personally love the baby cheeks a lot more and find more used to it. It's a hydrating toner with a balanced pH, it hydrates the skin with coconut milk, soothed with algae extract. I like using this after a workout to gently wipe off all the dirt without actually going in with a cleanser. Or this can actually just be used as your morning cleanser. I typically don't use an actual cleanser in the morning, so just using water or this with a cotton pad really is great to not strip your skin and actually get you this plump hydrated baby cheeks that you want. And while we're on Versed, they also launched a retinol serum which only retails for $22. I was skeptical because there are so many expensive retinol products out there and I always had a stigma that retinol had to be expensive to be good. And this product really changed that stigma. I actually found this to be so perfect for my skin type. It's gentle enough to use every day without any of that kind of redness or pilling that I have experienced with previous retinol products. So I highly recommend this to those who are new to retinol and kind of want to slowly incorporate this into your routine. I only use it at nighttime and this has been such a lovely addition to my nighttime routine. So Tatcha launched a serum stick which retails for $45 and this is the kind of product that is really cool in concept but doesn't really live up to its coolness. I mean I love Tatcha products so much but this wasn't really a wow for me. First off, I don't really love products in stick formula. When I wear it, I feel like nothing is being applied, so it's kind of easy to over apply this as well. Um, but I did find some use for it when I apply it on my dry patches on my face or other parts of your body. So if you have super dry skin, this may be for you, but I just personally had a hard time justifying this in my routine and finding a use for it and replacing it with my other usual serums. So you know what? Maybe I'll bring it with me on my next trip though. 
On the right side though, Tatcha launched a new lip mask and wow, this is truly one of the best lip masks I have ever used. It's a non-sticky jelly mask where a little bit goes a very long way. You can use this as a mask at night or sometimes I just use it on top of my lipstick as a gloss given how shiny and plumping this is and seriously, I love the way this looks. It's formulated with Japanese peach extract to repair parched lips, camellia oil for its omegas, and squalene to enrich your overall skin barrier. This is just definitely a win for me. I love it. The Inky List actually launched five or six products in February of 2020, and I just wanted to review two of my favorites here and the products that I've actually been able to extensively test. The first one is the Inky List Retinol Eye Cream, which retails for $9.99. And I love retinol and eye creams, so was very excited about this affordable launch. I absolutely adore their caffeine eye cream for my tired mornings. So I actually use that in the morning and use this retinol one at night and have never experienced any kind of irritation or milia. And honestly, it's helped even out the complexion under my eye. I love the smooth texture that instantly melts into your eye. This is a definite, definite win for me. Paula's Choice Niacinamide 20%. So when this product first launched, everyone went like, oh my god, it's 20%, it must be better than their original formula. And yay, Paula's Choice, I'm gonna get this. But beware, higher does not always mean better. Just like how pricier things doesn't mean it's better. And because it's 20%, it doesn't mean it will be twice as effective. And honestly, I wouldn't really recommend this to those with super sensitive skin because upon first few uses, my skin actually did turn red. And after a few uses, it did get better. But I honestly didn't really see a huge noticeable difference between this and Paula's Choice Niacin in my serum with just 10%. And the same goes for other active serums. I like staying on the safer side. However, if you do want to focus this more on your acne scars or oily skin, then the tire percentage may be a better alternative for you. But as someone who does have sensitive skin, I rather lean on the safer and lower side with pretty much the same results for me. The next Polish Choice launch is their CBD Milk Treatment, which retails for $49. And this is the first CBD launch by Paula's Choice. And I was wondering when that was coming, and it's finally here. And I mentioned in my 2020 goals that I have been skeptical of CBD in my skincare, but that I was going to at least start testing more of them. And out of all the ones that I have tried so far, which, you know, is still only a handful, this one has to be my favorite and it's actually changed my conception of CBD and skincare. I love the milky texture of this and I mix a tiny bit with my other serums or moisturizers, especially after a wake up or just overall even out my skin texture. The last new launch from Paula's Choice is their Omega Serum. This is a new launch within their Omega line. And you know, to be honest, I didn't really love their Omega moisturizer when it launched last year. So I wasn't sure if I liked this, but the beautiful souffle like texture has completely won my heart over. It's got Omega 3, 6, 9 oils and ceramides to hydrate and strengthen your skin. It's one of the most lightweight serums that I own. It just feels so soft and completely smoothens out my skin. If you're looking for something that is more hydrating, you may want something slightly with more viscosity. And especially as we transition to warmer weathers, I'm looking for a serum that is a lot more gentler and lightweight. This has just been the perfect addition to my routine. Ernal Laszlo Resurfacing AHA Sleep Serum. So this serum is one that sounds so promising. You apply this and wake up to the glowiest skin. It just solves all your problems while you sleep. But this also sounds a lot like your acid serums, right? I mean, let me preface this by saying that this serum is $100. That is a lot of money, even for an acid serum. And while my skin didn't really love this, and in fact, I actually woke up to redder skin every time I use this, but my point is that there are a lot of other affordable options like Pharmacy Honeymoon Glue that does pretty much the same thing overnight. So you know what, this is actually a pass for me, but instead I will be sure to sleeping with my memory sleeping mask from Ernal Laszlo every night. That product is a holy grail for me. Now moving on to moisturizers. Beauty Bio launched their new Zen Bubble Moisturizer and you know what? I've actually been kind of obsessed with this moisturizer. This is an oil-free formula that deeply hydrates while also helping to minimize the appearance of your pores. 
This is supposed to be especially great for those with oily skin. And I adore the pump packaging of this. It's very hygienic and it pumps just the right amount you need for your face. It's super, super soft and silky while feeling so lightweight. While I adore this cream so much, I do still think the 65 price tag is a little too much because I have seen other moisturizers that kind of feel the same and lovely, but for a fraction of the price. And speaking of price, Inky List also launched their new moisturizer. It's their vitamin B, C, E, which retails for $9.99. Like seriously guys, it's $10 and it has all the vitamins that you want. It's a super lightweight gel-like moisturizer that actually is very hydrating as well. I brought this on my trip to Miami and this is the only moisturizer I used um, in that humid weather and my skin was thriving there. My skin loved this moisture to drink it up and the hydration actually lost a very, very long time. It also wears very well under makeup as well. So this moisturizer was such a big win for me. It's going to be a holy grail and will have a forever spot in my vanity as well. There really weren't that many mass launches this quarter or did I just really miss out on them? Okay, well, I'm very happy with this new launch and that was plenty enough for me. It's the True Botanicals Clay Mask and this is one of the most hydrating clay mask out there. I know that just sounds like such an oxymoron because clay masks are not hydrating, but I'm telling you the texture of this is so beautiful. It glides on your skin and even the washing up process just feels like a normal mask. It does not feel like a clay mask at all. While it does have the functionality of being able to extract all your impurities, minimize the appearance of your pores while hydrating your skin. It's magical. And that is why I think the $75 price tag for this mask is actually worth it. I all right, so the last product we're gonna be covering is Supergroup Glow Screen. And here's the thing. I don't really love the sunscreens from Supergoop. No, it's a very, very popular item out there, but first of all, I don't really buy sunscreens that are manufactured in the US given FDA rules. And more so than that, I just prefer my Korean and Japanese sunscreen way more. The technology out there is so much better. But when Supergroup launched this glow screen, I didn't really look at it as a sunscreen, but more as a sunscreen plus primer. And don't make this replace your sunscreen completely because I actually like wearing a layer of sunscreen below this and then apply this on top of it for the additional sunscreen coverage. And then that also acts like a primer. This has got a very, very beautiful kind of pinky sheen to it. And honestly, this is enough to wear on an everyday basis. This acts like your sunscreen primer as well as tinted moisturizer. Just like the name implies, it's a glow screen. It just gives a really nice, beautiful, glowy filter on top of your face with the additional benefit of having sunscreen as well. So out of all the super good launches so far, I have to say this has to be one of my favorites. I love it. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I know I was filming the voiceover just literally on my couch and I figured I should show my face in the end of this. It was fun kind of wrapping everything up that I tried this quarter and I'll definitely come back to you in the first week of July for my Q2 new launch update. All right, well, if you guys want to see my opinion throughout the process, then make sure you follow me on Instagram at Glow with Ava and also subscribe to my channel. All right, thank you so much and I'll see you guys next.